Carbon dioxide, or CO2, is commonly known as a harmful greenhouse gas. It's primarily produced through the combustion of fossil fuels and is a key driver of climate change. But CO2 is more than a climate killer. Plants and algae use it along with water and sunlight in a process called photosynthesis. In that sense, carbon dioxide is vital to human life. Human emissions are driving up the CO2 concentration in the Earth's atmosphere. Some of these emissions could actually be put to good use. Carbon capture and utilization, or CCU, refers to technologies that capture CO2 emissions and utilize them in the production of new materials and fuels. CCU technologies might reduce the utilization of fossil raw materials and improve the CO2 balance of everyday products. These innovative technologies imitate the natural carbon cycle and are the subject of intense scientific interest. Carbon dioxide can be captured from flue gases emitted by power plants and industrial facilities. It's also a byproduct of chemical processes such as ammonia synthesis. In the future, carbon dioxide might even be recovered from the atmosphere in a process known as air capture. Carbon dioxide captured in this way can be used in the production of construction and insulation materials and in foam products used in mattresses, for example. CO2 can also be used to produce synthetic fuels such as diesel, methanol and synthetic natural gas. Here, fossil raw materials are substituted with carbon dioxide. CCU technologies are one step on the way towards a circular economy and can contribute to climate protection. The extent of this contribution will depend on how long CO2 can be stored in CCU products and the energy demands during their production. The use of renewable energies will be critical for a positive environmental effect. CCU alone cannot resolve the challenge of climate change. Emissions reductions are still our most important goal. But carbon dioxide utilization is a new piece in the climate protection puzzle and can make a valuable contribution. Industry and research institutions continue to study its development.